Good day. Welcome to the Solid Experts Technical Tip Series. My name is John Nolan, and today I'm going to show you perhaps a slightly known option about the ability to reverse engineer an STL file and change its feature topology so that you can print it as yet something else. Now ideally you would go find a similar model on 3D Content Central or something else in SOLIDWORKS format you can work directly with, but if all you truly have is that one unique STL file, you now have a new set of options to address how to deal with it and change its features. Now SOLIDWORKS has, for quite some time, the ability to open an STL file and if you don't preset your options, what you would normally get is just the graphics. So kind of like any drawings in a SOLIDWORKS file, um, but there's really not much you can do with it. All you can do is kind of verify that yes, it has the features you want, um, and it's going to make a good print. Over the last few releases, there has been an option that on the file open dialog, in the options, you can choose to open it as a part solid body or surface body. However, you do get all these individual facets, which are the actual original STL facets. And this can be a little bit difficult to work with. Also notice my alignment to the origin is just wherever it happened to be in 3D space in the source STL file. But in SOLIDWORKS 2016, they did waterfall the um, scan to 3D utility which is kind of a reverse engineering mode for SOLIDWORKS. It is in your add-ins, and again, this is now down to SOLIDWORKS Professional as well as Premium. So this is one of the waterfall options you get in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Scan to 3D, I've got it turned on in this case. This time when I do my file open, instead of using the STL file type, and again here, STL, you do have on your options solid or surface body instead of the graphics that traditionally has come in. But in this case, we're going to choose mesh files. And in this list of mesh file extensions, there is in fact STL. So now I can select, again, that same STL file. I'm going to say open on that. And what I instead get is a mesh. And this is more similar to what you would get from a some sort of scan utility um, a CT file from a medical place, something of that nature. Here we have on the right click menu some options. So here I have a mesh prep wizard. And I'm going to use this to simplify the file down. You want your um, surface geometry to be as simple as possible when you go through the next few steps here. I'm going to choose automatic. The nice thing about this is uh, I've already tested my values here is I can now reposition my file relative to my origin in my part file and have my mesh line up to the nice traditional origin and three reference points that I would like. Here I'm going to go ahead and continue. Now to simplify these features out because instead I'm going to change this whole pattern anyway or create a new one ideally I'm going to use the Trim the Boundary section, and here I've found that Polygon seems to work the best. So I'm going to go Polygon, and I'm just going to trim along here. Dun, 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 dun. So basically I'm going to remove this whole, whole pattern arrangement from the face and just make it into a flat face again. Now what's nice about the Polygon is it does give me the Auto Snap to close. Go ahead and create Delete. Now that did create a hole but don't worry about it yet. Here, leave your simplification in your smoothing sliders all the way to the left. Moving those right does not improve the situation, unfortunately. Here, now that I have that hole, notice it offers to automatically fill it. So this is kind of like delete face with fill and patch. Boom, there we go, we're all set. So now that's created a nice smooth solid body or solid surface mesh that with the next step we can turn into a body. Here we're going to go with the surface wizard, automatic creation, 
and it really should say Surface and Solid Wizard, by the way. Here, check your preview. If you see any red at all, uptick your surface detail until the red in the preview goes away. Once you get to that stage, then you can proceed forward, and now you get a solid body. If in fact you didn't like the topology that came out, there's a little too many wrinkles and stuff, now that you're aligned to your front and top and right planes, you can just simply make a sketch, section through, take the better half, mirror the solid body across, and now you've got a good solid body to work with. Again, these are not as nice as a true SOLIDWORKS body with a single continuous face. There are multiple facets in here, but it's far fewer than the original STL file had. And for printing something else with a new um, set of holes or something like that for a 3D print, it should be more than good enough. Thank you for your time and attention. This has been another in the Solid Experts Technical Tip Series. Stay tuned next month for yet another topic. Good day.